Good morning, Keepers, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where I have literally just rolled out of bed much the same as my character has. Uh, right, what do we want to sell, I say? I think we want to sell a bunch of bread. There we are, we'll bring that along with us, and uh, before we go, I'm going to set up uh, some beet. Yep, let's get all of the beet cutlets we can possibly get. Go right now. 22 beet cutlets. It's going to be grand. Gonna be amazingly awesome, in fact. Have I studied any of these things that I can sell? I haven't yet studied any of them, which is kind of rubbish, honestly. Um, well, you know what? Maybe I'll take around some of these and we'll sell those too. I'm going to... There's no way I'm gonna get there in time for the, the grapes unless I use that teleport stone. And I refuse! No. No teleporting shenanigans. I say... No. What we're going to do is we're going to run down this uh, tunnel beneath uh, the ground and uh, take care of that. Though, one thing has caught my mind. Is the teleport stone going to work for the cabin in the woods? That's actually an interesting question because it may be quite useful. Uh, still, I'm not going to use it, but it, you know, it would give it a, a further use because there is no shortcut up to the cabin in the woods. From what I can tell, I could sell all of my wines for... Ridiculous amounts of money! Oh my! Oh my indeed! I'm not gonna sell all my wines for ridiculous amounts of money though, because I want some of them for healing. But oh my! Well now, I guess. Uh, I guess I can buy not mort one silver wine. Fine! You get one not mort. One! And only one! Now, let's hope that the blacksmith is still open, because I desperately need that whetstone. Uh, but, that is that is fantastic. We are going to be hopelessly, impossibly rich from now on. Thanks to wine. Hello! I would... Uh, you won't buy them. That's rather disappointing. Oh, you'll buy them down there, I see. Well, that's a bit of a pain in the bum, really, but alright. I shall buy one. If I bought two, well, actually, no, it would be exactly 20, but uh, no, we don't need it. I'll buy one. I could sell iron ore. Iron ingots I could sell for a little bit. Mm, we're not going to worry about it, though. Not going to worry about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wonder if perhaps, well, we might have perhaps been able to go and grab some things, but uh, some uh, milk, that is. We're not going to, though. Instead, we are going to take all of this back with us. Ah, okay, so we are going to have to buy a whopping great load of grapes the next time we get a chance because that is fantastically good. But, in a moment, Snake will be out and about. Which means... Oh, hello, Snake. Fancy meeting you here. Wow, you're slow. Super slow. Maybe it's my immortal body at work. I, I do have a body of the gods, apparently. Um, I, not, not that I've stolen. No, what I was trying to imply was that I was born of gods. Thus, immortal. Not that I had weird, like, you know, body-snatching shenanigans with gods. Because that is not going to end well. I feel that they will have their vengeance. One way or another. Uh, thank you for the food. Much obliged. So drop off this whetstone. Drop off these as well. Quickly go ahead and repair some stuff. I don't need the shovel. Don't need this. Don't need that. No, no, no. Don't need any of those. Let's just repair my axe. Ah, good times. There we go. Thank you. Drop that off. I'm gonna take along... You know what? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's bring along the... Um... The pasta. Because I'm gonna be using my axe. Ultimately. It is gonna be a thing that I do. In fact, let's drop off a bunch of things that I don't want to bring with me. Which is pretty much all of those. I'll bring those, sure. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I don't need my uh, hammer. Drop that off as well, please. There we are. I think we're ready to go down into the depths and have some fun down there. Let's pop the wine there. That is my healing stuff. That is my working stuff. That is my stamina stuff. If all other things are good. Now then, I might not have to jump down into the dungeon, but we're going to anyway. Simply because we're here. Alright then, Snake. I got some things for you, my man. Hello. Here's the nails. You only needed five. Good. 
These nails can break the seal. As soon as everything's ready, all of you will behold his power. Uh, here's the bucket of blood. Oh, pagan blood. That'll work. I don't like you. Your help will be t taken into account. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for so long. And now everything is ready. Okay. You will be the first to witness his summoning. Actually, I have a lot of stuff to do. I gotta go. Stay, or you shall be punished. Okay, fine. Wow, I'm such a pusher. Hello, uh, Chikino, Aperino. Really? Really? Uh, Is this what was supposed to happen? No, uh, something went wrong. It seems a lot of things are going wrong. Silence! I need to add a note to my endless notebook. Kill the scroll vendor. The miserable bastard. He told me he made an exact copy of the page I needed from the book. Seems like I need to get the original book. Do you know anybody from the university? Uh, I know one guy. He's an astrologer. I think he used to work there. What a happy coincidence. It seems you're my good luck charm. I should cut off your hand and start carrying it around. I think I only work when I'm in full part stuff. Get astrologer to bring the Necronomicon from the university library. And I'll owe you big. Uh, okay. What happened to the chicken? I'll take the chicken. I want eggs. Okay. First and fourth, foremost, royal stamp. Ha ha! Secondly, ha ha ha! I can now go to the town and I can now stamp things with the royal stamp of, of good meat. That we're not going to be using. No. I might stamp the uh, the frog meat, but I, I don't need to make meat that way. Uh, not make meat that way. I don't need to make money that way. I can make money by selling wine. I just need stupid amounts of grapes. It's easy when you think about it. Right, I need to clean off these nails. And there's no reason for me to, to rush things now. So, uh, dum dum dum. Do I drop this? Should I put this in here? I mean, it kind of makes sense. No, we're not going to put it in there. We're going to put it over here instead. Uh, along with everything else. Uh, you can go in there, Town Pass. You can go in there, Royal Stamp. You can go in there, Nails. And you can go in there as well, and I'll move you later. Because, for now, don't grab it. For now, we are going down the dungeon. It is time, I think, we can all agree for me to plumb the depths even further, now that I don't technically have a need. Hmm. Still, we get a lot of metal from going in the dungeon. So much more than I would get from just mining. That being said, now I've actually got a decent mine, maybe it would be a bit different, but we'll see. All right, let's get down here then. Gonna have a bit of fighting, and then blue slimes. Hello? Hello? Come hither. Oh, and again, aha! Blue jelly, come on then, yoink. There we go. Come on then. And again. Oh, that works so much better. Wait a second. What? What? You told me in the comments that I was going to need my pickaxe and I didn't believe you. Oh, oh my hubris. My sense of, of, of all knowing, at least down to the, the dungeon level 5. And yet. It has all been dashed. I've never seen these slimes before, and I've never seen there be a, a ore vein in here before. Thank you for trying to warn me. Uh, I am a fool. I don't well. We're slowly accruing ridiculous amounts of ceramic bowls. I'm not sure what we'll ever use these ceramic bowls for, but... No. Oh, thank you. Take you guys out. Ouch. Ouch. They're bats, of course they are. Why am I try apparently I'm trying to walk to the side constantly. Don't know why. Ouch. Why are you all so mean? Stop being so mean. There we go. That's right, you stay there, because it kind of stops them from getting to me. That worked, kind of. I took a lot more damage than I should have. But it did sort of work. Nope. 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 There we go. Stop getting in the way. Very delicate operation here. I'll take lots of damage. Uh, see, I've taken loads of damage, thanks to you. Oh, well. Let's grab some broken furniture. 
no doubt we'll find something in these uh, these uh, bookshelves. No doubt, because it wouldn't wouldn't give me bookshelves on a much da more dangerous level that were also empty. That's just not the way this game works. I refuse to believe that this game is such a scallywag. No, there's going to be something awesome in this. Uh, game why? I was speaking well of you and everything. Okay, well, we're only going to go down one level. Since we're already here, we might as well. But, that is... All right, you know what? I don't trust the slimes when they're coming at me from the... the below. They're very easy to misjudge in terms of their reach at that point. So, we'll take you from that side. Yes, I am blaming... Blaming uh, that for my earlier truly horrifically embarrassing death. Really, I don't want to fight with bloody bats and an Iron Maiden as well. Okay. Haha! -ha. Apparently I'm not so bad at it. There we go. Not too bad at all. But, yeah, we're only going to do this one level. I'm here already, so I might as well finish what I'm doing. Then, ouch, we're going to head on up. And the next time we come down, we will be bringing our pickaxe with us. There we go. Hello. No. Coming this way. Thank you. And plenty of wine. I am drunk in a dungeon and drunk. I don't feel that this is necessarily the wisest course of action, actually. Somehow, I feel that this is uh, possibly pretty bad. This is like on par with drunk driving. Drunk sorting is at least as dangerous as drunk driving. I mean, I feel that it stands to reason. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, okay, so the, the yeah, it's it's exactly the same as it was before. Very well, that is the, the same way that it works uh, in the alpha. You get the bucket of blood on the fifth level. Hello, no, absolutely not. There we go. Not gonna happen. Ah, oh, maybe it will then, actually. I'd rather it didn't though, if I'm honest. I would kind of like it if I had to do this. I think it would be much more interesting if those enemies couldn't be damaged from a frontal assault. And then you. Well, nope. And once again. See, slow and steady wins the race. Nope. Ouch, you actually did hit me there. I moved in a little bit too early and your cider blades managed to take me out. Cider blades? Uh, I've been playing too much Rimworld. I will accept all of your metal scrap. Because it is very, very precious to me. How much did I collect there? 65. That's six whole ingots. Genuinely, if you don't feel like going and mining for metal, this is the place to be. Truly. Uh, I am low on stamina, though, so let's uh, top up a little bit. I'm going to head on down to the sixth floor. And then immediately straight back up. I say. Um, first. <laughs> and then we're going to go straight back up. There we go. Okay, well, it's going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking Sloth Day. I am really favouring the idea that the, uh, the astrologer represents Sloth. But it is going to be Sloth Day tomorrow, or Moon Day, if you prefer to say it. Moon Day, Sunday, so on and so forth. I mean, you know, that does have some, uh, some grounding in reality, to a, to a certain degree. But uh, no, I, I think each of these days is named after the sin. I think that's fairly... Fairly obvious at this point. Uh, right, I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to drop off all of the nails because we're going to be using and the bucket of blood, honestly. Um, these can all come with. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? Yeah, yeah I want to drop that off as well. All right, I think we're good. I think I'm going to keep my sword with me. Uh, there's been enough times when I haven't had it with me and I've then needed it that... I think it would be silly not to bring it with. Uh, so I'm going to keep that with us wherever we go. Uh, right, let's go and get a little bit more work done over here. Let's drop off all of this, for example. Are we going to go to the town today? Hmm, I'm tempted to. Quite tempted, actually. I need some firewood before I do anything else. Uh, let's go for a fair bit here. There we go. And we're very close to that 200 that we need. So close. So very, very close. Might No, we won't get it here. I think we only get one 
um, red skill point per uh, wood we chop. Mind you, with the means to make incredibly valuable wine now, maybe I should just go to the astrologer and buy the books. I might do, actually. We'll see how that goes. But uh, first and foremost, let's get you all topped up with fuel. There we are. And then all of these made into wooden gods, please. There we go. That, mm, uh, actually, I don't remember how much we get from those. It might be enough. It might not be enough. It, it's hard to say. Uh, I think I'm going to carry that around with me. The wine we're going to pop back in here. Uh, actually, no, the wine we're going to put downstairs. Because this is basically my dungeon chest, really. Uh, things I take from there. Off to the dungeon with us. We'll leave the stamp in the house. No reason to take that with us anywhere else, because this is pretty much where we use the stamp. But everything else can come with... Ooh, the blue jelly. No idea what we're going to use that for. Hmm. I'll leave it there, I guess. I might find that we can turn it into something. I'm just not sure what yet. Uh, is there anything much we want to do here? We could make some... Well, no, we don't have the cheese for the pasta yet. Hmm. Make some extra big mushrooms, sure. I really don't think uh, there's much reason not to make use of the oven when we have the chance. And we'll just hang tight here. We'll go and talk with the astrologer, perhaps, today. I, I'm not sure yet, but it might be something we do. Uh, can I make anything here? Uh, well, I could actually make a bunch more red gel if I really wanted to. Maybe. Got no fish that I can prepare, unfortunately. I could make some more pastry dough. Or I could make more flour. Let's see. Have I got any flour in there? I've got some flour. Is that bread dough? No, that's pastry dough. That's bread dough, though. Mm. Well, let's work through what we've got here. 36 flour. We'll still be left with a little bit of um, wheat, though. So we're not going to have cleaned out an entire inventory slot, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Let's keep working through this, though, and then by the time we head out, we should find there's a bunch of red skill points just waiting for us, thanks to all of the, um, all of the ingots being smelted. There we go. Right, let's drop off all of these. There we are. And that we can turn into to dough, as and when we please. All right, then. Uh, let's go and grab any ingot skills that we've got. Close. Very close. Oh, damn it. They're messing me around. There we go. Right, lock, drop these off. We've got four, eight... Mm, got a couple of things we need to make there. But uh, also, quite a few things we need to make here. Let's make five gravestones. And five gravestone fences as well. And we'll take those... Drop them off in the cemetery. And that way we can decorate the graves that we've got that are awaiting decoration. There we are. And five of these as well. Now I know that means we're not going to be building... Okay, you know what? I'll just eat that. I know that means that we're not going to be able to build the uh, furnace up at the top that we wanted to build. Still, we have now got at least... Our circular saw. Donk! Very pleased with that. Precious metals. Tempting. Very tempting. Or we can go for Stonecutter 2, which we're going to need. Um. Well. We're probably going to end up with a chunk of faith tomorrow. So let's try and plan ahead a little bit. Uh, we need the metal gears. Uh, steel parts, rather. How do we get to steel armor? So if we get to steel and then up to steel armor, that's actually not much faith. It is a lot of work. But maybe we can just bypass... I, I, I received a comment saying that we can perhaps bypass the need to... Uh, Go dark, Avak, and eat. Uh, sorry, uh, and then harvest people's parts 
in order to make the armor. And I'm I'm pretty down with that idea, actually. Yeah, I like the idea of not having to uh, chop people up myself. Let's just finish these off. I'm not going to be able to take all of them with me, but... Oh, man, I'm tired as well. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, let's drop this off. Yeah, I've got way too much stuff on me. Guess we'll leave the town pass here for now. Got a bunch of stuff I need to put elsewhere. Let's go and drop up the seeds. And we'll just grab everything else on the way back. Uh, there we go. Got one more that I can pick up. I'll have to pick up the last one on the way back. Because everything else I want to use. Uh, that being said, actually, I could drop off the... Yeah, sure, we'll drop those off just so I can take everything with me. There we go. Right, I could snooze. I will snooze just to get rid of the debuff. There we go. Power nap complete. Right, let's keep on the way. Now, we want to drop off all of the grave markers in the trunk just outside the chapel so that I can make use of that properly uh, the next time I need to decorate a grave. I uh, want to drop off the gold story there, which is particularly nice. There we go. And we'll also decorate the graves now. I want to get a circular saw up and running pretty soon. As it happens, aren't all of you. There we go. That'll do. And let's get you decorated. Now the ones that are that are old, there's really no point in decorating them right now because they've got rubbish corpses on them. So, there we go. And how about you? It's a bit of a waste, but sure, all right. We'll get it done. There we go. Now, how about you down here? Uh, this one is a perfect combination. It'll get, give me exactly four. There we go. Up to 60. Now up to 64. You're a very good corpse because you're already plus one. Now, this should make us a fair old chunk of cash. There we go. We'll go for the ones that have no decoration before we start swinging back around. There we are, and I think this is the last one. Actually, no, we can get a headstone there as well. Okay, not bad at all. Uh, right, let's get a headstone here. 74. That is actually a pretty solid bit of work there. Pretty solid bit of work. Uh, as it happens, it's going to be faster for me to go to Not Mort this way, for once. Let's go and drop off some carrots for Comrade Donkey. And a corpse for Not Mort. Uh, sorry, some wine for Not Mort. In before, there's another corpse on here. No, there's not. Ha-ha! Hello, Not Mort. Here you go. <sighs> I don't have any t sense of taste, but I can tell it's lacking in alcohol. Sad. I'm going to get all depressed now. Oh. Oh. See you later. I'm, I'm sorry. It was, that's the best one I've got. Oh, man. I'm letting down my friend. My friend is going to bite me while I sleep. Might be a bad friend, but he's the only friend I've got, which is a pretty dire situation to find myself in. Uh, right, we've got a couple more. Oh, we need more silver stories. So I guess giving wine will get me those silver stories, but uh, yeah. Anything else I want to do here? I can make flyers, and I imagine I could sell flyers. I can make stories, but really, for us to get there, I think we actually need to start working on a lot of faith and then go for the writing perks. So we need 40 faith for perk writer and 100 faith for perk playwright. Um, these words will boost your inspiration. I mean, maybe. Maybe I could write a bunch of things with that. Might be useful. Still, I think I'm more inclined to go for the steel, honestly. That'd be very nice indeed. Uh, big guy, it appears that if you work with iron a lot, you become big and strong. Plus one damage, plus one defense. That's not really something I'm too worried about there. Engineer, you know how to do a complex mechanism. All details of your work are top quality. Even your carving and jewelry look cleaner. Oh, that might be nice. Still, if we can get up to steel weapons, that would be very good. And I only need 20 faith to do that, but I need a lot 
of hard work to get there. So it's going to be a little bit of a punch. But we have got the means to make a circular saw now. Let's see what it's involved. Two planks and a couple more advanced metal parts. Well, that's easy enough for us to make. Let's go ahead and make... Um, I think we've got four at the moment, so we'll go all the way up to 12. There we are. And this should get us a little bit of hard work as well. There we go. Not bad at all. Three per... One per, per piece of uh, metal that we're making, I guess. There we are. Thank you. Drop those off. Now we need the planks as well. We've already got bunches of flitch, so uh, let's just go ahead and make lots of them. Might as well. Let's get those on the go. Uh, it doesn't... I don't believe that we're using our axe skill for this. I can't be certain. No, I guess the, the best way to check is to actually eat some uh, hard work food, if we had it on us at the time. But uh, I'll try and remember to do that in the future. I'm probably going to have to move that back up top to fit the circular saw in down here. Now, what I remember being the case is that without the circular saw, there were certain things you couldn't make. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Let's see how big this circular saw is. Actually, oh. Oh, that would work well. That would work very well. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Let's go and get a new grave set up. Uh, let's hope you're a very good corpse. Comrade Donkey? Oh, oh of course, yes. Ah, ah, I thought you'd nicked my corpse. Run off with it. No. Comrade Donkey would never do such a thing. That's something only capitalists would do. Comrade Donkey is for the people, not against them. Well done, Comrade Donkey. All right, let's get this all cleaned up. And this as well. Now, let's hope we don't make a botch of this. No botch. Hooray. Let's get you back out there, then. Well, we do have a grave ready, so now we're going to need to prepare another grave. Okay. Let's get you down. Right about there. Dig this up. There you are. And bury you over. Now, I wonder if there are many places I can put a trunk here. Because I would love it if I could put one somewhere other than here. But then again, you know, I can actually use this area. Hmm. I don't know, it just looks wrong. But maybe. We'll wait and see where I can put a trunk first, I think. Uh, you know what? If we build this up like so... We'll be able to put lawns on the other side, but it would halve the amount of graves we could plant there. So let's not do that. Um, once again, we'll end up with much less in terms of the beautification than if we do this. Yes, we'll end up with one little space extra, but I think we can manage that. Should be okay. Let's just go and prepare these graves while we can. Well, drat. Okay, I'll go and sharpen these and then we'll go to sleep for the night. And on the morrow, we should get a whopping great load of faith. Thanks, in large part, to the fact that we have made a faith prayer. Hooray us. We have thought ahead. So let's get uh, my shovel fixed. We won't worry about the pickaxe until it breaks. I know that's risky, but I want to try and preserve as much as I can. Uh, there we go. Let's get you done. We will grab a little bit of sleep if we have the opportunity to. Frank. Uh, Alright then, I guess. Might as well, I suppose. Since we're here anyway, and we've just sorted out our shovel anyway. Up, up. There we go. And across. Again, the one thing I think this game lacks the most is quite simply a cart. We need a cart in this game. So badly. All right, let's find out what you can make. And if you can make everything that this can, then that is fine. Uh, do I have any extra food? No, I don't. Okay, so it, it is now enforced sleep time. All right, then. Uh, do we have enough to make a bunch of bread? We do. So let's go ahead and get that done. 
Oh uh, yeah, nine nine loaves of bread will do. Clearly, though, I need to make more carrot cutlets. Have a sip of tea as well. <sighs> right. Okay. Good. I am refreshed. I am pleased with this level of refreshedness. Now then, let's see what we can do over here. I do have bread that I can sell to the bishop, but honestly, now that I know that I've got so much, uh, so much means of making money through uh, wine, I'm not sure I'm going to bother, except for the fact I do believe that we get some happiness with him by selling him that. I'd like to say some words. Our church great. Not too many pilgrims today. Nice, nice. And now let us pray for this blessing. Come on. Okay, nice. Let's see all of that faith come through. Your donations are welcome. What? I don't appear to have made much more than normal. Making a lot more money than normal, though. But, yeah, we need to really drastically upgrade the church so that we get a lot more pilgrims in here. Uh, money bonus, an extra silver there. Faith bonus, two. Faith received, two, sorry. Faith bonus, two. An extra chunk of cash as well. Well, you know, I guess. I guess it'll work. All right, let's go and uh, do a bit of research on these tools of mine. Oh, I could research a, a log, I guess. I don't really want to, though. Everything here requires a little bit more research. Uh, can I study this? Yes, I can. Very well. Study the inkwell. There you go. Pen and ink. Can't be de decomposed into anything, but that's fine. Anything else I can study? I think you need... No, you need four. Because you're crazy. Uh, you need one. I wonder how much my hammer required. You know what? I'm going to go quickly check on that. We're going to have a quick look. See if uh, I can do anything with my hammer. Might be able to. Uh, sorry, not my hammer. My uh, old rusty tools. I do apologize. Mine's all over the place right now. To be fair, I only just woke up and I just rolled straight out of bed and onto recording. Uh, right, let's grab some of the rusty tools because we may find that any number of these will work. Let's go and take some of this down there and see if we can't get something better out of them. And then the ones that we can't research yet because we don't have faith or if any of them can't be researched, we'll leave them there. We won't leave the fishing rod, but um, we will leave the tools there until they have been fully researched. Okay, rusty tools. Do these only? Oh, they only require one. Fantastic, happy days. Yes, please. Let's get you studied. There we go. And can I study the fishing rod? I cannot. Very well. Pickaxe, study you. There we go. Rusty pickaxe, studied. Perfect. We've got ten faith as well. So I guess steel it is, and we can make a uh, an iron hammer. Then we can make a better anvil too, and create a steel chisel. Then we'll only need 10 faith to get up to steel armor. Is this really the best course? I am... Look, okay, someone said I might not have to turn... Be a scallywag and eat people. That's good enough reason for me. We'll leave the hatchet. We'll leave the sword. We can't leave the hammer because we, we need it. But uh, everything else can just stay there until ready. Okay, right. What quests have we now got to do? Uh, let's get you. A, let's make you a little bit happier, shall we? If we can. Um, restoration tools. Silver star wine for the guard. Get rid of the Inquisition guards at Witch Hill. That's going to be uh, kind of important. Get the Necronomicon. Get the trade license. All right. Uh, demonstrate that we're worth talking to. It's not high on my list of things to do. You're at 35 now, and I can only assume that it's partially because we have been giving you bread. Uh, I'll give you bread next time. We'll make a whole boatload of bread. Just for you. Just for you. But for now, no. Leave the wine there. Uh, there we go. Thank you. And so we'll drop the bread off in here because it's going to be something that I want to use 
for trading purposes effectively. Uh, all right, we'll also can we clean out those nails. Wow, we need a, a lot to do that actually. All right, I'll well, make another ceramic urn. Uh, a little bit of extra faith. Um, I mean, there we go. We'll drop those off at the. Um, have I got a load of blood nails? No, I don't. Uh, we'll drop those off at the uh, the graveyard shortly. You know what? I can leave the firewood down here, actually. Might as well, I suppose. Leave all of the wooden items in there, in fact. All right, let's finish off this, and we can see if we're going to need anything more. There we go. All right, what can I make? I can make billet, I can make flitch, I can make wooden planks, and I can make wooden beams. What? So I can make everything I can make there. I can't make this, though, but that's fine because I've already researched one of those. Is there anything more I can make here? Yeah, I can make loads of stuff here. So I can make wooden planks, make iron armor. I can make chisels, steel chisels, all sorts of amazing chisels. Um, I can make polishing paste. Ah, all right. And I can make the, all of the wooden, wooden items there. So honestly, we no longer need this. And I, in fact, I can make the wooden planks straight out of this. Like six flitch from one log or three wooden planks from one log. Do, does flitch require two? Nah, nah, nah. Making the, the flitch is still the better option. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Uh, it does make sense. But uh, everything else, yeah, sorted. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the sawhorse and put the... Um, the firewood area in its place instead because that's the only thing that I can't make since everything I can make with this is either made by the surplus saw or the carpentry bench it's fine by me thank you all these sticks they can drop off there straight away marvelous I'll also drop off my fishing rod as well I think let's leave you there let's get a where are you where are you Shopping so oh we need more bird. Oh well that's that's fine, we can easily do that. Let's get some billet going. It, it's an electric saw? Because I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I was expecting some sort of pedaling contraption and, and not yeah, that sounded more like a power tool. I I gotta be honest. Oh, 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 right, okay, so we can't put that there. Alright, that's fine. We'll have it over here then, just beside the house. We'll hop it over there though. See, the thing is, is that you can access it from the side and I can't rotate it, so. But that's fine. That's all we're going to do for now. I know I was going to try and get up to the, uh, to the mining outpost and set that up. Unfortunately, it does seem that it's going to take me a little bit more time to get that sorted. Still, we've got a lot of things done down here and I'm actually really happy with that. Let's make all of this dough though before we go to bed and then set up a bunch of bread to be made because we want to sell it to the bishop next Pride Day. Uh, I may actually have to eat some of the bread in order to make all the dough. Well, maybe not. Well, we'll see. It's going to be cutting it fine. No, no. We're, we're going to have a little tiny bit of energy to spare, in fact. We're good. There we go. Thank you. And all we want now is stupendous amounts of bread. Let's get all of the bread being made. There we go. It's going to take 110 uh, firewood. Oh, well. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's episode and will be joining me for the next way. Hopefully, maybe we can get work on the uh, mining outpost. Maybe, possibly, sometime soon. We'll have to see. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.